Hello everyone, in this video let us try to understand what is structure padding in C. Let's get started. So in previous one of our video we just learned the various techniques for declaring and defining structures. We just learned three different techniques and also we learned how you can access the structure elements with the help of declaring and defining variables for the structure. And make sure that structure is nothing but in simple terms is a collection of various data type elements to form a user defined data type. So in the example shown right over here embedded system is a structure or a user defined data type which is having a collection of hardware as an element of type care and software as an element of type int. So this embedded system is a user defined data type or a structure which is having two different elements from two different data types care and int and in the program we have just wrote the values for hardware to be 1 and software to be 2 by declaring a variable for the structure to be es1 so for this particular variable es1 of the structure we have written the element values to be 1 for hardware and 2 for software and we have printed the values for the respective hardware and software in the debug viewer window. Let me just compile this and execute this. You can see I am getting ES1 hardware is equal to 1 and ES1 hard software is equal to 2. So now let us try to understand how the size for this structure is allocated. So the size for the structure is based on the variable. You can clearly see this is the variable for this structure. ES1 is the variable for the structure. So when I write like when I try to print the size of ES1. So for a guess let us assume in the beginning the size. So as per my compiler the char data type will hold 1 byte as the size and the int data type will hold 4 bytes as the size. So as a total we will get 5 bytes as the size printed right over here right. So let me just compile and execute this program. You can see the size of ES1 right over here mentioned is 8 which is abnormal right. So just understand that as per our manual calculation done right over here, the size that we manually calculated is 5 bytes. But the actual size that the ES1 consumes is 8 bytes. How this happens? So not only a structure variable, all the variables in C will be placed in the natural boundary. That is, for example, assume that assume these two variables let me just take it out i am just declaring another data type sort another variable sort of hardware one So this sort will consume 2 bytes, we very well know that. So this char will be having a natural boundary. Let's take it to be, it is available at the location of 0x to 000. And the next consequent address at which the char can be loaded is 0x to 001. And the next consequent address is 002. And the next consequent address is 0x2003. And it goes on like this. So the natural boundary for char is everywhere. It can be stored in each and every byte of the memory. It has no issues. But if you take the natural boundary for int, which is having a size of 4 bytes. So if you start the value with the same value 0x2000, next natural boundary for storing the int is 0x2. 004 and the next natural boundary is 008 and the next natural boundary is next natural boundary is 29 a b c c and it goes on like this and if you take the sort 0x to 
zero zero zero. Let's take the same. And the next natural boundary for storing the next variable right over here in the sort is zero x two zero zero two. And the next natural boundary is zero zero four. And the next natural boundary is zero x two zero zero six. And it goes on like this. So this is the natural boundary allocation for each and every data type as per the compiler, as per my compiler. because the size of the variable or data type affects the natural boundary so when you take the above example right over here let me just comment this let's assume it is located at the natural boundary of 2000 but this int which is consequent to the char data type above is having the natural boundary to be 0 4 8 c etc but the char can be placed consequently in the next consequent byte but int cannot be done because the natural boundary is 0 4 8 c etc so the starting address for this int as per the natural boundary will be 2 0 4 so starting from 0 the bytes such as 0x2 001 0x2 002 0x2 003 will be padded so these addresses will be padded and the next consequent byte starts at 0x2 004 and it goes till 0x2 008 because the size of the int is 4 bytes so that is why starting from 0x2000 it goes till 0x2008 totally it consumes 8 bytes so the size of the es1 is having 8 bytes as total memory so this is how structure padding works not only structure padding all the memory elements or variable padding works like this let's see an another example for understanding it better so the, these addresses are assumptions only don't don't confuse that these are not the actual addresses just for the understanding i just wrote like 0x2000 but it will be having a 4 byte address so let me just show you another example for understanding this better so compiler allocates and places variables in natural boundary addresses in memory spaces this will also happen in case of structure variables not only in structure variables also in variables of normal uh, deliveries so char will be able to be, so the char data type elements can be able to play so the char data type elements will be able to be placed in next consequent address as the size of char is 1 byte so if you take this as the first element of the char it can be placed in the next consequent memory address element 1 2 etc but if you take sort it can be placed only in addresses like 0 2 4 etc because the size of sort is 2 bytes but if you take the int it is having 4 bytes as a size so the natural boundary goes on like 0 4 8 c etc so this is the aligned data storage of all these basic data types so let's take the example for understanding get better so this is a structure you can see the same structure embedded system it is having totally four different variables or elements char of software int of hardware char of sw1 sort of hw1 so this is the memory right over here you can clearly see this is the memory boundary of the cpu so horizontally it goes like 4 4 bytes and vertically it goes like 4 4 bytes now let us try to manually calculate with the structure padding the size of the structure right over here on the left so let's take the first element that is char of software we very well know char is a data type of size 1 byte so it can be stored right over here in the 0th bit position and if you take the next element right over here it is int so the natural boundary for int is 
so it starts with 4 so rest all the space right to the care will be padded so this is called structure padding as per our understanding so in the next consequence start address of 4 the int will be placed which is of size 4 so here it consumes a whole 4 bytes of memory space the next variable so now we got a total of 8 bytes at the end of the second int hardware variable and if you take the third variable of the structure that is the care of sw1 it will be stored in the next consequent memory space and the next space will be padded because we very well know the sort is having the natural boundary to be 0 2 4 6 8 etc so this care is placed in 8 and this place right over here is 9 so this will be padded and the next sort variable will be placed from memory space 10 right over here so the next sort variable hw1 will be placed right over here so totally 1 2 3 4 4 bytes are padded and totally we are having 4 4 4 12 bytes as the size of the structure right over here so you can also increase the efficiency of the structure by properly aligning your variables you can clearly see here we have wasted three bytes of memory spaces right so what you can do is you can just realign the structure in such a way that you can reduce the memory space let us try to do that also so let me just copy this and i am just going to paste it right over here I'm just going to declare this as type def struct of embedded systems I don't want any of these now I'm just going to compile and see the size of the structure so as per our manual calculation it was 12 so our calculation is right it is 12 so as I mentioned we can optimize the size of structure so this is consuming 4 bytes because of structure padding and this is consuming 4 bytes but this is the natural boundary of int and this one is consuming 2 bytes and this one is consuming 2 bytes so this is the case of the structure which is causing the size of 12 bytes right so for optimizing the structure just understand that you just want to align the variables in such a manner that the size will be reduced so we very well know here we are wasting 3 bytes so in this 3 bytes you can place one care and one sort right so what i will do is i will take these two and i will put it below here so now just assume that this starts at 2000 the natural boundary of care this can be at 001 and the natural boundary of sort is 0246 so it can start at 2002 so it goes till 004 so the natural boundary of int right over here is 0x2 4 0 4 8 12 etc right so it starts at 4 so this will drastically reduce the size of the structure to be 8 as per my understanding because this will be in the 0 to position this will be in the first byte position this will be in the second byte till fourth byte position and this variable will start from fourth byte position and goes till eighth byte position so let me just run this you can see the size of es1 has been drastically reduced from 12 bytes to 4 bytes thus we optimized the structure in such a way for reducing the size of the structure elements structure variable so whenever you are declaring and using a structure keep in mind the structure padding and then align the variables in such a way if it is a user defined structure you can do this 
but if in case if you are declaring a peripheral structure for microcontroller you cannot do anything because it is a structure aligned with the structure of the microcontroller so you cannot change that but if in case of user application you can optimize the structure in such a way for reducing the size of structure so i hope you learned what is structure padding in this video and also you learned how variables are placed as per the natural boundary of the type of variable declared inside the structure in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching